Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another video. I know, I know, I've been gone for a while. I'm so sorry, guys. I have just been very, very busy um, with my final semester. I had my exams. I was actually preparing for my exams as I was filming this video, but I decided to just get something out for you guys. We are back to regular scheduling. We're back to posting every single Friday. So make sure you turn your notification bell on so you don't miss a video. So I'm going to show you guys how to properly take your braids out when they have been in for a while. How to properly detangle so that you don't damage your hairline and damage your hair. So the first things that you will need are scissors for the cutting, of course. You will need a comb and you'll need spray bottles as well. So obviously first you're going to start off by removing the braids, cutting them off to um, a point where you know your hair sort of ends. If you're not sure, cut more in case you're in doubt. You don't want to have to deal with the drama of counselling yourself after you've accidentally cut some of your hair off. I've been there, it's not cute. After you've gone and cut the braids, you want to um, spray some water on them. I didn't show it here, but I love to spritz some water. I love working with damp everything. So damp hair, damp braids. It's easier to work with. It causes less friction. It's less rough on your hands as well. Um, and it's easier for your hair um, in general. After you've done with that, you will have a lot a lot of knots especially if you've had your hair in for a really long time the longer you've had it in the more knots but to deal with the knots we're going to start off with conditioner i'm going to put some conditioner in this little um tub thing and then i'm going to mix that with some water and i'm going to use that as my slip solution you need slip to detangle your hair. It's really, really important. So what you do is you start off by wetting the section of the hair with the spray bottle or you just start off with wet hair. And then you go in and you start detangling with your hands. So you start pulling apart that section where it's clumped and dirty and there's the knot. You want to do that by hand, not by comb. I'm only going to say this once and once only. Do not use a comb to take out your knots. You will damage your hair, you will break your hair and you will kill your hairline. So after you go in with, um, with your water and you've, de you've removed the knot, you want to go in with your slip solution, some more slip solution and start detangling your hair with your fingers, not with a comb. You use the comb last. It's the last thing you use. Everything is done with your hands. So after you've done that, you just want to brush your hair with your fingers. Use your fingers as a comb and just brush through your hair, making sure that there's no knots or anything like that before you start um, using your pick, the pick side of your comb. Once you can get the pick through your hair, that's when you know you're ready to wash your hair. I'm just going to shampoo my hair. All the products will be listed in the description box below. After washing my hair, I'm going to put in a hair mask because my hair has been in braids. It hasn't been getting much love, much care and much attention. So you really want to make sure you re-establish that moisture because your hair will be very dry at this point. So you really want to put back all that moisture. I recommend a protein mask or hydration mask the mask that i will be using is an intensive hydration mask so then i'll make sure that my hair is still damp and i'll go through and section each part making sure that i put a significant amount of product in each hair um, i'm not worried about losing product here i'm also worried about um, giving my hair back the moisture that's needed after I've done that section, I then go in and put it in a two-stand twist and complete the rest of my hair. Once I've done that, I'm going to be using a bag to um, seal everything so that I can deep condition it. And then I'm going to also going to be using my little microfiber towel wrap thing. And I'm going to leave this in for the rest of the day.
So this is about six hours later. It's about 10 o'clock at night. This is about six hours later. I've had the masking for about six hours, just sitting while I was studying and doing my schoolwork and preparing for my exams. So I'm just gonna take it out and wash my hair with cold water. So after washing my hair, I'm just gonna dry it with the microfiber towel and then just get rid of some of the knots that are there. You will, are still gonna have a lot of, um, especially to um, single strand knots and multi-strand knots and just a lot of knots and um, things happening in your hair. You don't wanna tackle that too much at the moment because your hair will be very sensitive at this point. You just wanna make sure that um, the big knots are sort of out from the box braid. So after I've done that, I'm going to be using my lock method, um, my liquid, my oil and my cream to um, just put some moisture back into my hair. I'm going to link my lock method here so you guys know what I'm doing. After that, I'm going to be putting my hair into um, flat twists. I'm putting it in flat twists and not in anything else because I've already manipulated it a lot today. After putting it in two strand twists, I'm going to um, put a little bit of attention and love to my hairline. I'm going to put some uh, Jamaican black castor oil on my hairline and massage that in a little bit before I put my satin bonnet on and prepare for bed. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have liked the video. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts and like the video if you like the video and make sure to turn your notification bell on so you don't miss a video every time it's posted. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week, Friday. Mwah.